Greetings and salutations. My name is Joe Bob and I'm very P. Welcome back to Darkwood. Day 12. If, I, like I said before, if this was pathologic, this would be the final day. But fortunately, this isn't. Alright, did I ever get... Hang on. Yeah, I did get that. Alright. You know what? Yeah. It's not like I'm... strapped for boards anymore. Might as well top up here. There we go. Honestly, besides stuff like boards and stuff, I have, like, nothing to spend all my moolah on. Or my valuables, rather. It's kind of ridiculous. There's, there is stuff that I genuinely would want, like shells and such, but I just can't fucking buy any. Or I can hardly buy any anyways. Alright. Am I carrying any Australian stuff? Okay. This seems good. Gah. That light always makes me nervous because it looks very similar to the other light that kills you. Alright, so. We're gonna go check out the radio tower. And go through these holes. Because there's definitely something there. Something. I don't know what. Well, a radio tower, I assume. But you know what I mean. Hmm? Mushroom blade. What? An intense sweet smell of mushrooms fills the air. Gee, I wonder why. Hi. With guns? What, pigs with guns? You didn't sit, see shit in the night. In the. S what? No one from the village since the relocation. No one from the side. I can't, I don't know what these guys are saying. No, they're not from the village. Eh, they're probably talking nonsense. Most people do. In this game, anyways. And that's what I said. I thought he was saying that's what she said for a second. <laughs> well, this place seems pleasant. Everything inside the cottage is covered with mushrooms. The floor, even though it looks like it's made from wood, bends under my feet. A white colorless goo seeps from the ceilings and walls. Jesus Christ. Fires, I don't care. Wire, I do care, I guess. Key on a key ring, a colorless key, it feels soft to the touch. There's a drawing of three flowers etched on the key ring. Colorless key, does that mean it's white or black? Uh, mushroom granny. Yep, that certainly looks like a mushroom granny, all right. An old woman sits on a weathered rocking chair. Her sleep is deep and peaceful. A handful of ripe mushrooms grows out from beneath the thick hair. Shouldn't it be a handful of... Well, no, the grammar, I guess, makes sense there. It's just a bit odd. Hmm. I can uh, try to pick a mushroom from the woman's head. That... That's the plan with neither flaw nor chance of error. You know I think I'll pass. Let's wake the old lady. The old lady slowly opens her eyes. For a moment she stares into space with an absent gaze. More like an absent gaze. <laughs> Finally she becomes aware of my presence. Wait. 
You're not. Who am the eyes not take out a questioning expression? I didn't expect any guess. She throws a nervous look at the door on her right, then relaxes around the mushroom infested house. She relaxes a bit. Or the sorry, gazes around the mushroom infested house. She relaxes a bit. I suppose you won't tell me what you want? And you want something since you're standing here in front of me, right? Eat the old lady. <laughs> okay, uh, why would I do that? Uh, when you figure out the door? It's the door to my chamber. There's nothing that would interest you there. <laughs> we can retreat to your chamber if you catch my drift. <laughs> the old lady puffs her cigarette. Come back when you remember what it is you want from me. The woman takes the photo into her hands. Lovely boys. All they have left is their father. The old lady examines the photo. Her thoughts wander far away. I remember cars driving along this road, and then they closed it. They set up a fence and a gate, but both the fence and the gate got devoured by the woods eventually. I think that's how it was. Hmm. Alrighty then. I guess I just gotta go. Well, she wasn't particularly helpful. Alright, let's go. That wasn't, a, that wasn't a particularly useful diversion, but at least it was a short one. Yeah. I got some more mushrooms from it. After all. Not that I particularly care about. Ah! Not that I particularly care about mushrooms at this point. Or anything, really. Ooh. Ah, fuck. There's not honestly at this point, it's not really much to do in this game aside from just get to the do the story and all that. Hmm, I could get through this with the. Uh, I should really pick this up before. I should I should really pick up these barrels before waving a torch around in a gasoline smelling. Ooh. Yeah, see, that's exactly why. That would have been, uh, not fun. It would have been funny, but... Nah, what is, how long is this gonna take to... There we go. Hanging frame, pills. I care about the pills. Hanging frame, meh. It's valuable, sure, but I've got loads of valuables and I'm struggling to find a way to upload all of them. This is money for nothing, you know? Even if it's technically not money. Poor bastard probably died of starvation. Yeah, I've heard that before. Need a key. Shit. Well, no, I don't. It's wooden. Dummy, dummy, dum. Um, what? That was odd. That first attack didn't seem to do anything. Alright, was it worth it. Rags, those can be used for bandages and stuff. Gasoline, meh, meh. Also, things I can just get from buying them. Another. Oh! Ow! Fuck!
Alright then. Now where's this fucking radio tower? Uh, apparently, he- there! But where the fuck is it? What's this? Aha! Here we go. I see. Should just make these into bandages already. in the most efficient way to do it. Ah, whatever. This has been torn to shreds. Lovely. Flare. I'll take a flare, I guess. I should probably brought flares with me just in case I need them. Oh well. Nothing for it now. Well, the radio tower is completely fucked. So that's a thing. I'm sleeping, but I need noise to wake them up. Huh. I don't even know what those are. No. No 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 Away from them. So you know what? That's good enough. Oh, I'm gonna run out of lantern, aren't I? Bitch. I should be using the la the torch instead so that I don't need to attack. going backwards, I might be. No, this is new. This is, I think, new. Yeah. Um, how do I get rid of this? Oh, I need to get rid of that first. I don't know the code to that, damn it. I think I remember the code to the story. What? Do I? Uh, is it somewhere? Shit. Is there a code somewhere? I know. Code. That's the cart door. Six six seven eight. I guess I'll try it. Uh, 
No. Okay. What else do I have that has a code? I think I remember the code to this door. Okay, what is it then? 8684. Oh, you actually told me. I didn't expect that. Hope we haven't changed it. Okay. 8684. Got it. entrance to the underground tunnels. Spinning radio overgrown with roots. Hmm. Interesting. What about this way? Oh. Shortcut. The mushrooms. Okay, anything else around here? No? Alright. Underground entrance then. Is this really... Hang on. Yeesh, it's been a while since I saved. Uh, I really like to save before I do that, but I don't know if I have any way to do that. All right, nothing for it. Let's go. Didn't realize we'd be progressing past this place this quickly. If this is really something I'm going to be able to do immediately. But hey, this is actually perfect timing, because I, I was mentioning earlier about further past of the tunnel is blocked by enormous roots and rubble, alright. About how I was getting to the point where nothing really mattered, I was struggling to even spend all my stuff. It's maybe a one-way road, yup. Hey, you know what, this is the perfect time for a big shake-up, like going to Act 3, or maybe even the finale, I don't know. Only one shot. I found a floodgate in the tunnel. I'm afraid I only have one shot of getting further down the passage. I feel it will lead me to the right place. What? Only open if I close the previous one. Okay. Ah. Fun. Alright, this is the plan with neither flaw nor chance of error. I got a fungus. I can't use it now. We need to find a way to get rid of the parasite first. All right, Bur purge and flame. Ah, shit. Might have been a mistake. Huh? Oh, another one of these dream scenes. Lovely. I assume either that or I've been mugged. Either seems plausible. What seems to be blocked from the other side? Oh, lovely. Seems to be the same place I was in earlier, I think. More or less. Or similar at the very least, but... Ah, I can go for it. Just a torch or something. Oop! That's a flashlight. That works. I'm still not certain what the difference between the regular flashlight and this is. Maybe I should have tested or something. I think this one's brighter? Something like that. Maybe it lasts, the f batteries last longer, I don't know. 
I'm calling incomprehensibly from the depths of the corridor. How pleasant. Come to me. No. No, I don't think I will. Oh, I might have to. Shoots down. What? Oh. Alrighty then. Uh, that's pleasant. This is the way the shiny stone tells me, so... Oh. Damn, I can't get through here. Alright. Doink. Follow the shiny stone road. Follow the shiny stone road. Or something like that. No shiny stones that way. Ah! There you go, another one. Yeah, shiny stones never fail me, except when they, and when I can't find them. That's more me failing them. Uh, eh. When I follow the shiny stones, I never fail to succeed. I I always succeed when I don't fail, and I always, and I never fail to succeed. But no, that doesn't make any sense. All right, here was I know. Uh, I never fail when I succeed, and I always succeed when I don't fail. That's the line. Right. Hmm. Maybe get through here. I think so. Aha! Uh -huh. What's this? Let there be light. And shiny stones. Alright! I could be going completely the wrong way, and these shiny stones are actually a will-o'-wisp sort of thing. Ooh, yoink. Entry to a small cellar. Maybe the pantry? Could open it with a lockpick. Alright. Simple enough. Shovel. Um, what do I do with this? Oh, okay, I need a key. Um, um, I guess I break down this. Hang on, what the fuck? Oh, that's pleasant. Oh, crap, we're back here for the third time. Lovely. So, you radio unitra? I don't know what that means. Uh. Hi. Yeah, metal tables, other belts trapped off. I don't think that's the most eye catching part about that table. I'm gonna go. We'll be fine. I just need to go. Oh joy. Oh no. Uh. Uh. No, 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 no! 
stuck. I can force my way up. They're gone. What? Huh. Well, that was lucky. Okay, that, that, that they cornered me right as they are about to vanish from existence. Um, I sure hope I didn't make a mistake crafting that. Oh, no wonder, it was off! <laughs> what am I even looking at? Just here, wasn't I? Uh, this is not familiar. Hi! Oh no. Might have made a mistake. Might have made a mistake. This would be a good time to use the stamina thing. But I can't, because it's in a dream. I guess. Follow the stones, follow the stones, uh, again! I think. Uh... 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 Hi. Oh, dead end, dead end, dead end! No! Get through! Come on, let me through, let me through, let me through, let me through! Fucking... Anywhere else? Come on! Oh. Am I stuck? Did I go the wrong way? I just get here too fast. What the, f what the fuck are you even doing? Hailing the... Whatever this is? Oh, hi! Okay then. I just had to wait for it to open up its mouth, I guess. That took a long fucking time. Maybe I just got there faster than I was supposed to. Uh, which way? Probably this way. I hope it's this way. Okay, maybe not. Oh, shovel. New shovel, nice. Uh, pretty knackered, but not as knackered as the other one. Yeah, yeah, probably not that way. Huh? Rubble! Here we go. They gave me slightly more shovel than I needed, apparently. Maybe I'll need to bust something down with it. No, not so far. Oh. Did I do it? I sure hope I did. Huh? I heard something. Aha! Here we go! Excuse me while I back up my save. Yo, more odd meat, do I care? Not particularly. Particularly. Oh, that was not English. Uh, 
which way? Ah, uh, oh, what was that? I just see. I just wanted to saw a shovel pop up for a second. Do that now. Can I? Okay, yeah, I can use the skills for a moment. I thought, I was like, oh no, what if I'm still in the dream scene? That'll be a bit distressing. Ah, ladder. Um. All right, let's go up the ladder there. Sure hope this is the right way. The oven, maybe? Yes. The oven is lit again. Alright. I don't know what that did for me, but alright. Oh. And here I thought, I was like, Oh, is this a wide open area with no trees? And immediately trees. But maybe... Are there trees this way? Yes. Merciful. Complete chapter two without burning the talking tree. Oh, oh, I guess I am past chapter two then. And I got through without killing the talking tree, I guess. That's nice. I don't know what that means. I mean, I know what the talking tree is. I, at least I vaguely know of it. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing that I didn't kill it. Is this? Shame I didn't get involved in any of that uh, diving stuff. That could have been an interesting mechanic. But uh, well, I guess I skipped right past it. Not like any of the resources I would have gotten it from, from it would have been that useful. <coughs> Considering I was already drowning in resources. Um, you know what? Shuck all this odd stuff. Bring any of it out with me. God, those trees look like fucking tendrils or something. Yeah, the trees seem. The trees are thinning out now. There's only intermittent trees, I think. No, there's a bunch of trees right there. Fuck. Jar with a sample. Huh. What is that? Is there anything in my journal that I got? No, nothing so far. Time isn't flowing. with a half-eaten moldy sandwich on it. The destroyed oven. The jar with the protective substance lies shattered on the ground. Yeah, by the way, I still don't know what the fuck that protective substance is. It just sort of mentions it. Note about walls of trees. The structure resembles a honeycomb. <laughs> Interesting. The surface of particular cell varies from 80 to as many as 360 square kilometers. Particular cells? The cells gradually divide into smaller ones. It can be assumed that with time, the forest will achieve a homogeneous form. The trees grow with remarkable regularity, forming walls with the average thickness of 50 meters. The distances between trunks are never higher than 10 centimeters. According to preliminary analysis, only 15% of the total volume consists of actual trees? Although this figure is hard to verify. What do you mean, actual trees? What do you mean, cells? Are these... Some pl 
there seems to be the implication that there's more that there's more places like this. More dark woods, you could say. Concerning. And that and the description of it as cells is interesting. Cells like cells of a body or as imprisoned cells. And if it's a ladder, does that mean these are intentionally created? Equipment. Was the guy right about there being electricity in the trees? Or is this some kind of... Was it a... Radio? I don't know. Oh, but... I don't even... I have no idea what I'm looking at. And that whole thing, like, only 15% consists of actual... Trees. What does that mean? What is the rest? A colorless goo sips from the cracks in the asphalt. Colorless goo. Now that's interesting. I kind of assume that, oh, maybe it's like sap or something, but you'd think they'd recognize what sap is, of course. Why, uh, so I'm just calling it colorless goo is. Useless damaged handheld radio. Okay, flashlight, batteries, and the assault rifle. my way is gonna find me packing. Oh yeah. Glad I came back for that. What about over here? Oh, it's the three. The three are staring at the tree. They pay no attention to me. <laughs> that rhymes. What tree? Oh. Which tree, rather? Oh, it's the talking tree. Neat. In the shadows, I notice the pulsating vastness of the gigantic tree trunk. In the distance, above the roots, I can see the destroyed roofs of the flooded village. The area is shrouded in almost complete silence. <sighs> uh, what voice to give to this one? You spared us. The voice is coming from between the dark boughs, but I can't see its owner. The road will lead you home. 
Nothing will stand in your way anymore. Honestly, I didn't spare you intentionally. I probably would have torched you if I had encountered you, but I just didn't. <laughs> I just went a different... I just went in a different direction and didn't encounter you. But hey, if you want to give me credit for sparing you... Well, I don't know about that. Maybe you should say it. If you want to give me, give me credit for sparing you to anyone that would actually... Uh, appreciate you being spared, and not to anyone that would uh, be upset about that, then go right ahead. but maybe that I can find this uh, side road. Maybe rejoin the road later. Oh, this is pleasant. Is it just peachy? Epilogue. Oh, Jesus, the game's over. Or just about. And I have no items. Yeah. Alrighty then. Is this gonna just be me wandering in the forest and then dying? That would be an unfortunate ending. All this way just to get lost in the woods and reified. Maybe I'll become a talking tree. That would be annoying. Oh, I don't have any inventory, but I still have stamina. It's just invisible. Alright! Power lines! Hot damn! Do we follow these to... Th to Civilization, maybe? Ah, here we go. That's a trick I learned, is that... You know, if you're lost out in the wilderness, you want to search for power lines. Sort of like... Uh, sort of like navigating via river, you know? But... May, uh, but... We're finding civilization. Uh, oh, this place looks pretty dead, but maybe it's just... Aha! Here we go, someone. And they're gone. Who are? Everyone? Who's gonna eat the bread now? Oh, the birds. Sorry about that. Okay. Well, that's a promising sign. They've got bread to eat the birds. Ah. Hopscotch. I never understood it. Neither did I, man. Neither did I. My first floor neighbor. Oh, what, is, what was that? Good day to you. And good day to you, too. Alright. Whoa, this feels weird. The towering 
the uh, perspective on this, you know? Alright, let's go in then. Ooh, bears. Basement. Ah, and me without my porch. Fucking hell. I like need a key, like need a key, like need a key, like need a key. <laughs> I'm starting to sense a theme. <laughs> Why am I even in the basement? What am I doing here? Where do these doors even go to? Ah, if only I had my axe, I could knock some of these down. I wonder if I can destroy them with a shotgun too. Aha! Finally, a door that's open. Potatoes. Potato sacks, jars, can jars. Jam. Zimic. Okay. Ooh, a radio. Uh, music. Did I break it? Says I sleep. No. No, I don't think I will. Hmm? Uh mushrooms, huh? That's not concerning in the slightest. I didn't really escape, did I? Or maybe I escaped from one forest to find another. Hmm. Boss. Hi. What? Got any spare change? What's up with you? Why are you twitching like that? You're waking my kid! Uh, what the fuck? What the fuck was that, stupid cow? Like a fucking bloody fetus or something. What the fuck is going on here? Hi. Please have see you, mister. Haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> I've had a hell of a time. They're still green, even though I've never seen anyone tending them. Maybe they feed on the discarded cigarette butts? Maybe they're very cleverly disguised fakes? Or maybe this whole place is a cleverly disguised fake. Old wardrobe. Apparently someone was too lazy to bring it down the stairs and throw it in the trash. Fair enough. Wardrobes are... This wardrobe is fucking big. Any more... Doors? No. That's weird. Do I have this whole damn floor to myself? Probably the work of the kids from the neighborhood apartment block. Dupa. Ah, yes. Arf, more or less. It seems to be blocked on the other side. It seems to be blocked on this side. What's this? Oh. Hi. Yeah. Fucking hell. Well, I'm sure there's absolutely nothing suspicious about any of all of this. Hmm. 
is this? We have his bike, he can do something with it. It's laying in the middle been laying in the middle of the corridor ever since he broke the kickstand. Uh This is not my apartment. Okay, I thought it was a stable apartment. My apartment. But that is what? That was already open. This is just looping endlessly, isn't it? All the while getting more and more rooted. This is not my beautiful house. This is not my... Okay, whatever. It's my wardrobe. Got the coat. Me. Sure. Why not? Ah, I've got changed to what I was in that uh, dream scene. Some note is lying on the floor. I've made you some soup. Heat it up. No thanks. Oh. Hi. Jesus fucking Christ, scared, scared the life out of me. Fabric. Mm -hmm. Fabric. Fabric. Yeah. These roots are going out from under the floor panels. How pleasant. Fucking damn it. Come out the window? No, I can't do that. Literally. Hold the rug. Remove the floor. To be some tools in the kitchen. Screwdriver. Now, it's no axe. It'll do. This is, as I said, this is not my beautiful house. This is not my beautiful wife. A damn fabrication. It's all fake. All oh, a replica. A pathetic fucking replica. And if it's real, tear it all down. Tear it all down. Tear it all down. You won't. You won't hide from me, you damn uppity lumber. Kindling. Turn you all to kindling. Turn you all to kindling. Sheets look as if I had just woken up. At last. I 
feel my sore legs buckling underneath me, my be body becoming heavy and overwhelming and lethargic. Yeah, it looked like it just normal sheets like I just woke up. And why do you think that these would be like so pristine after you've been gone for so long? It was a grueling journey, 12 days of human torment. Look closer. Fighting off sleepiness with difficulty, I lean over the bed. The springs creak noisily under the weight of my hand. As I cast my glance on the light brown construction from the plywood, I notice familiar features. They are elongated and arched. I can still smell the fresh sheets and the pleasant warmth of the quilt. I feel a gentle draught coming from the dark gap between the bed and the floor. Reach under the bed. My fingertips brush a thin layer of dust. Coldness. Moisture. I'm touching something rough, but my arm is too short to catch it. I think I need to move the bed. Does this lead? Is this what the, the hole they used to consume me bodily if I had slept? Or maybe none of it was real. Naked in the dark. Was any what I went through? The man is fast asleep. He's smiling. He's hugging his knees with skinny and dirty arms. A swarm of flies is covering a black sore on his back. The man doesn't react. I'm unable to wake him from his slumber. I guess we gotta make ourselves. It's torn and covered with dry mud. Completely destroyed. Down here. My hat. You're not gonna pick up your hat? Ah. That hat was uh, like iconic. In the belly of a... I'm at the bottom of a huge valley. I feel the dry, dusty earth pulsating under my feet. The, in the base, in the roots of a vast tree. Its face is covered in mud and sticks. It clutches a shiny stone in its hand. It goes dead and asleep. I'm unable to wake it up. The shiny stones. Were they leading, were they working for the trees this whole time, leading me here, or were they leading me to my freedom? I don't know, but at least we'll be sure. They're asleep. They seem happy, even though they're emaciated and dirty. Some of them lie dead. Ugh. Disgusting. And you know, some people would say that this is better existence. Happy, even though they're emaciated and dirty. Those people are fools. Moral cowards. This is not living. Well, I suppose it is living. I'm not gonna be mincing words, but this is not worth living. The earth is covered with thick bundles of dry roots that creep under my feet and old broken trees. All of these. Has anyone else awoken like I have? I don't know. A pleasant warmth washes over me. Huh. Looks like at least one person has woken up. Disgusting. Look how it praises this monstrous edifice. Even with that one with reduced to only a single arm. What is this? Disgusting creature. Is it even a creature? E. 
I'm standing in front of an enormous being. Place a hand on the being. I feel an overwhelming, soothing feeling of security and happiness. The vast valley at the bottom of which I stand curves upwards, closing over my head. The rust of distant trees turns into a single silent murmur. I feel I'm coming home, to my flat, to my room with a window and a bed. But it's only a phantom, isn't it? Just a pathetic illusion created by something that might not even be conscious itself. Withdraw my hand. I feel a heat emanating from the being. I sense my pulse slowing down, a calmness. I want to rest, come back home, to my bed. I want to lie down, to fall asleep. But this can't give me any of those except sleep. And sleep is a bitter poison. Withdraw my hand. I don't want to do it. Still, my hand pushes the being away. The warmth that was emanating from it disappears, replaced by piercing coldness. Disappears? No. It was never real in the first place. It was just an illusion. The doctor. He's fast asleep. To think I, I would have I might have expected someone like him to maybe be able to wake, but Maybe in time, but... I don't know. It's time to go. Huh? Are you awake? Mass Masiak. The man mumbles in his sleep. He's emaciated and dirty, but his face is radiant and calm. He clutches on a rusty object covered with old beads. Some weapon? Is that what I think it is? Listen to the murmurs. The man is talking in his sleep. Ma wait, Masiak. That's the one from that, from that note earlier. The one who ran off with the flamethrower. That is what I think it is. These are only snippets of sentences, single words, spoken gently and slowly. It's hard to find any meaning in them. Leave. Without opening his eyes, the man clumsily waves his hand at me, then covers his head with it and freezes. I just hit the metal item for the man. Leave. The man waves his hand again. This time he grabs my arm. Without opening his eyes, he turns his head towards me. I recognize him. He's one of us. Yes, it seems, well, he's a, he seems a bit more conscious than the rest, but still sleeping. Try to snatch the item from the man's hand. Leave! Can't you fucking hear me? I won't let you take her! The man clenches his teeth with the fury of a maniac. Saliva flows from his mouth. It's hurting her! You will tear her arms out! Hit the man and grab the item. Don't leave her. All right, I won't. I won't leave her then. No. Oh yes. <laughs> I hope I don't have limited ammo for this. Oh, The sleepers shall never awaken. doing finishing the fight 
This, this is what I'm here, and what I came here for. Die with us? Maybe. That doesn't matter. You'll kill us all. Yes. Die. Burn. Burn, you pathetic worm. Why? You dare ask why? Look at yourselves and you will see the answer. Hmm? Not one of you will be spared the flame. If I have to... If I have to burn myself alive to do it. Every last one of you. will be purged in the glorious fire. The being will not claim another. So this is it then, isn't it? The dark wood burns brightly tonight. Is there a way out? I might as well look for one. But probably not. Fire is coming indeed. Coming for every last one of you. for me to Probably not, but I might as well struggle in my last moments. in an inferno of our own making, a purifying flame to light the dark. Will anyone survive this? I don't know. I don't know if I want anyone to. But one thing is for certain, the dark wood shall not claim another victim. Almighty ooze. God. A great fire consumed the woods for a couple days, gradually claiming many of its inhabitants. It's got the burn them all achievement. Fire consumed the last road leading to the heart of the woods. The talking tree towering over the flooded village. The doctor who did not wake up even as the flames came closer.
The three outcasts wearing old rags and scrap who hugged the trunk of the talking tree and didn't even attempt to escape. Yes. Serves them right for never having more than one shotgun shell. The old lady overgrown with mushrooms who, immobilized in her rocking chair, burned together with her hut. The elephant family, who did not leave their house as the, at the swamp even as the flames started consuming it. The chicken lady, who set out into the woods in search of her sister and lost the way. And the last living inhabitant of the flooded village, who, just before his death, managed to feast his eyes on the sight of the enormous tree withering in the fire. <laughs> got it. He got his revenge in the end, even if I did unintentionally spare it initially. But not everyone perished. The son of the elephant family who, just in time, fled from the mushroom-infested hut to the nearby swamp. When the fire ceased, the boy set out towards home hoping that the fire had spared his loved ones. The little musician hid in the old hut with the trapdoor leading to the underground tunnels. When the fire went out, the trapdoor opened and the boy left the woods. Good for him. Uh, I did kind of... I didn't do his quest line, but I'm glad that he did survive. Find me. Pio Trek hid in his rocket and made of scrap. When the fire ceased, he got back to planning his space travel. It's probably for the best that I never actually helped him finish that. He probably would have gotten himself killed. <laughs> A large part of the villagers survived, hiding from the fire in the vast, barren clearings. When the fire went out and the incomprehensible whispers and calls ceased forever, they saw incoming helicopters above the destroyed land. Ah, rescue, eh? Hopefully. <laughs> Good for them. They won't have to rely on that sow anymore. The fate of the man with the wolf snout remains unknown. Huh. Well, I hope he's doing well wherever he is. He's a, he was a kind of a weirdo, but he was alright by me. Godspeed, all you survivors. Too bad I can't join you, but sacrifices had to be made. Darkwood was brought to you by Acid Withered Studio. <laughs> and that's the end. <sighs> bodyguard, what? They needed a bodyguard? <laughs> Whatever. That's probably an in-joke. <laughs> of some kind. Or maybe they were actually having people attacking them, I don't know. But yeah, that was Darkwood. Overall, uh... Pretty good. Some, uh... Not the most cons uh, not always consistently good. I mean, the, uh, le the level of perks were almost in- were almost entirely utterly inconsequential which was balanced by the drawbacks also being equally inconsequential <laughs> so yeah honestly i think i genuinely would have been better off if i had just not bothered to do any of the leveling up stuff because i wouldn't have if the drawbacks of course barely affected me at all i'm fairly certain the shadows thing did absolutely nothing ever <laughs> and uh, but it would have saved a lot of space. The problem is that, like, I don't think that would have really mattered that much because this game was pretty easy, honestly. Even if I had gone with the, like, I guess if I had gone for the thing where, like, one, where you only have one life, that would have been a lot harder, but, uh, I think I could probably go through the entire game now that I know how it works without ever dying. I wouldn't, and the economy is kind of weird. I don't know. 
But still, it was fun. Even if the uh, combat, uh, even if the actual uh, like melee combat of mechanics were kind of weird. Like you, it took you like so long to wind up a strike. It just feels weird, unnatural, <laughs> uh, awkward. I get um. Especially with how incredibly easy it is to accident to get interrupted or accidentally interrupt yourself, you know, like running interrupts it, which is just silly. I don't know. Just it just feel uh, this game just felt weird, good but weird, and not always in good ways. Yeah, but overall, it's hard to comp it's. It's hard to complain too much about this game. It was just a fun game, you know, with a lot of and the story was the story was great. It was very just well done, you know? All the characters felt well written. This uh the way the story developed was just great. I don't know. It was just and it didn't pull any bullshit like Pathologic did which, towards the end to completely destroy any and to, to completely destroy any investment. I mean, technically it did pull a it was all a dream thing, but only for that last bit of the epilogue, you know? Because clearly the rest of it was real because it had effects, you know, with the ending side and all that. Although, to be fair, I'm not certain how I how I would know all that stuff that happened, considering I'm dead. Unless I somehow survived, but probably not. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, and just the old thing of the, you know, you know, I'm sure there's plenty of stuff that I missed. <laughs> I'm absolutely certain, especially in that, especially in Chapter 2, which I really blazed through. <laughs> It's kind of a shame though, I did so much to prepare for that final thing, and then there was just like nothing. I mean there was the, aside from, there was a bit of, you know, running from guys and the, dream, and the dream scene and all that, but that was a dream scene, so I didn't have all my stuff, and after that there was nothing, you know. I was hoping for some pretty intense fights, but instead, I, I, I mean, I guess I, I guess I could have gotten some pretty intense fighting if I had a, a triggered the whole Banshee stuff with all the guys that would have been attacked by us. So maybe I screwed myself there <laughs> out of a cool final battle. Eh, well. <laughs> Sucks to be me, I guess. But, yeah. Overall, Darkwood gets a yeah for me. Which is, of course, the most objective of ratings. <laughs> a yeah out of yeah. As opposed to Pathologic, which got a nah out of yeah. Uh, the highest rating of, is, of course, a hell yeah out of yeah, which uh, which I give to Beef. <laughs> uh, but this... Yeah. If you care about what I recommend, then I recommend this game. It was a fun. <sighs> Even if during day nine space was warped and time was bendable. Oh <sighs> uh, yeah. Bur as the achievement said, you know, I burn them all. I freed the dark wood from the being, whatever the fuck that was. Some kind of coalescence of the, uh, of the strange white goo that may or may not be some kind of sap. I don't know. There's still a lot of questions left unanswered. But, well, I'll leave that to you. Because I am done. And so is this series and this video. And so, without any further ado whatsoever, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. Sayonara, suckers. <laughs>